Well, Nicholas, thanks so much for coming on to the Good Chat today. Uh, we know your time is limited, but we really appreciate you coming on. Don't mention it. Thanks for having me. Now, I understand you're in Australia at the moment doing some post-production work on a new film, uh, but you recently just came from Italy. Uh, how was that? Yeah, Italy was great. You know, thanks for asking. Um, I was just there on holiday with my family, uh, spent some time in Venice, Sicily, and a little bit of Rome as well. So, no, it was good. And now tell me, you're in Melbourne at the moment and you got to go and see the Hawks and the Dogs at the MCG. How many times have you been to the footy before? Because I know you spent some time in Melbourne filming back in circa sort of 07, 08, thereabouts. Uh, uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, uh, okay. sette, otto, nove, dieci. Very good. Oh, that, that's very impressive indeed. So quite a lot then, I take it. No, I'm joking. I was actually, it was probably my second time. I did go once uh, in 2008, like you said, uh, and that was with Rose Byrne when I was filming Knowing. Uh, I'm sure you all know Rose being Australian. Uh, we adore Rose, a much loved actress of ours, and Knowing, obviously one of the all time great films as well. Yeah, it was. I mean, I still think that's the case in my mind anyway, but, but no, I felt compelled to come and watch this team uh, who everyone had spoken so much about. And, you know, and I could sort of see what the appeal was because, you know, what they displayed, I guess it was just so exciting to watch. And that's important to me because as a film producer, you can draw on that for inspiration when you're working on your next film. And, well, I'm just very happy we were able to get you on the show. Uh, I can now brag to my co-host, Dan, who's not with me at the moment, uh, but he's got to interview Tom Cruise recently, so at least I can go back to him and say, I interviewed Nicolas Cage. Well, kudos to him. I mean, consider, you know, the fact that Tom is a dear friend of mine as well. Yeah, that's right. And look, I, I haven't spoken to him in a couple of years, but like myself, he gives up his time willingly, uh, but at the same time, doesn't like to be taken advantage of by the meteor and you know I, I really respect that as well well it's interesting that you say that nick because those that tuned into our show last week this is what people didn't hear when dan interviewed tom cruise so tom when can we expect to see this new film come out in australia that's a great question but unfortunately i can't disclose those details at this moment but not even a little bit of information <laughs> no dan stop <laughs> Yeah, but I guess everyone wants to know, though. Dan, Dan, you want to know. Yeah, I do. Don't go making excuses for other people here. You know exactly what you're asking. Oh, I'm just asking, Tom. I mean, it's no big deal. Dan, you're crossing the line. Just put your manners back in. So there you have it. That was Dan's interview with Tom Cruise, the deleted audio. And obviously, Nick here, he didn't really appreciate the comments there from Dan. No, he didn't. I can tell he's sort of drawn the line there, but no doubt Tom was nice to him after. But I know sometimes I've been in that situation with a journalist and they're not listening to what you're saying. And all I want to do in that moment is just shout their face off. I just want to shout it off. Not very good, I think. Great quote. I know what you're quoting out there. Uh, face off, obviously, a great film. But look, we've loved having you on today, Nick. Uh, best of luck uh, with this film that's coming out now and uh, safe travels, obviously, back to Los Angeles as well. Been great having you. Thanks very much for having me. Look forward to it again next time. Thanks, Nick.